I'm Senator Malcolm Roberts and I'm here in Wilcannia with uh, Waddy and Eddie Harris who are locals here uh, and these are the consequences that um, we want to talk about some of the consequences of the loss of water because when you lose water you lose jobs in town right? That's right yeah so okay. um, we we part of the Barkindy tribe, mm -hmm. Barkindy means river people out here in Wilcannia and yeah. um, you know we seen the water flowing and the flood was coming through and all that and everyone sort of had this you know um, this uh, energy and now with the river like it is and not flowing and dried up and that um, you know the, the morale is, is really down um, you know and employment and stuff like that as well so a lot of people you know has moved away um, yeah, looking for you had good Aboriginal and white families with with good structures about them leave town and with that goes jobs and goes money in town. That's right, yeah. yeah so, a whole lot went. Yeah. yeah. A whole lot went with them. And, and you guys have both, leave. during your lives, you've gone down south fruit picking, yeah. looking for jobs, right? Menendee, yeah. Randmark, yeah. Mildura. We met yeah. so many people from different parts of the river and all that down there to, to uh, have a, get your life back on track. Yeah. Because the employment I think, now is taken away from us all. And, and what, what you told me, Eddie, a little while ago is that people from outside, bureaucrats, come here and tell you what's needed and instead of real jobs, you're getting training and people just don't see any meaning in that. Yeah, I, I say that with the experience. I used to work for an unemployment program here yeah. and um, I had participants and doing different ac activities and all that. that um, yeah, yeah. All they want to do is is train our people and and not give them proper jobs that uh, will you know lift the community and all that. Yeah, so. And you also mentioned that some of these bureaucrats, both white and black, um, and in the land council sometimes, just want to control people and look after themselves. That's right. Like if yeah. we all if That's we all right. we all live in a community and if we all do our part, um, you know, and in uh, in what we qualified in. Um, to to give to the younger people in the communities, I think we'll all be better off. Because the Aboriginal communities, where they're strong, they're very strong. And but when they've been smashed, like it is here, they do. That's right. But, yeah. Lucky I uh, like the employment, and I wouldn't be here today if I if yeah. I didn't stick to what I was doing for my people here. See? Yep. And, and you've got a really sad story as well because you yeah. found your son's body after he committed suicide. Yeah, I, I was just here, the employment, and where he was working last and that. No, he knew. He knew what was coming. And, and his new story, so all his mates, what, where he, the bit of time he went to school here. You know, he, he didn't get his proper education because he had all this here thing. He had to carry around. His life was different to mine, but he knew right from wrong, and that he was teach. So, and, you know, and that's a key thing. Both of you said that what's really missing now uh, is a sense of responsibility. So, like I said earlier, we're from the Barkney tribe, Barkney means river people, mm -hmm. and you know our mob been looking after the river for four, you know over forty thousand years, and still today, like no one, I mean, <coughs> they looked after it pretty well, and then the you know colonial part of it. Uh, a lot of your mob, you know, and used the steamboats for the wool trades here mm -hmm. with the farmers. So that's what I'm talking about, all the hype in the town. And, you know, uh, everyone, you know, like there's people had speedboats, uh, used to go up and down the river. Um, yeah. Even though we did, couldn't afford one, we used to, you know, muck around in the little waves that used to be made by the, yeah. the farmers' boats and all that. But everyone was happy and, and you know, um, to see it like it is today is really, yeah, really sad. It's and, and really bad. And droughts, you know, yeah. droughts come and they they go. And we've seen pictures of the paddle steamers in the dry bed of the Darling River in the 1880s, 1890s, even I think 1920. I'm not sure about that. But so droughts are not unusual. But things that have happened outside your area, and things that are just shocking us with regard to what's happening with water in the northern basin. Um, that's caused you to have prolonged periods without water. Yeah. That's right. It never got yeah. it never got this bad. Um, seen it low and and clear as anything. Um, yeah. You can see the fish swimming around in the 
mm, in the water, you know. And get a nice cool but drink. And there was always a little little current to, to keep everything um, circulating. Swim and, and eat, eat food, you know, keep mm. healthy for us. And, yeah. and, and just to finish up, the key thing is this, the same message we've got from Eddie and Waddy and whitefellas in town yeah. is that what's needed is the people who make decisions need to come out here and listen. Don't keep telling things. We've heard this, Eddie, all over the basin. Farmers, townsfolk, just small business, everyone's just so sick and tired of people having a, sh a solution shoved down their throat without, by people who don't understand the problem. And sometimes those same people cause the problem. That's right. If we think a little bit about, like I said, about our mob over the 40,000 years and looking after the land and, that, um, and the water, the river people, and that just just listen to what we're trying to say because we can't we can't control Mother Nature. We, and, and <laughs> we've got to go back start, to the we, dry side, country, so. the spiritual side of the of this land, right? We've got to go back to that to the belief that the land is the main one. The land out there, the trees and birds, the spirits and that are still out there. They're waiting on all the new kids to go. The parks, what we got, well, that's where they should be having a look at them. From all over the Dodi parks they got. To, to make Dodi kids realise that this is their land and it's got to be valued and responsibility. Just what it's got to be teach. We've all got to come together and we've got to be with Dodi kids. What energy that we got from off the country, what they gave us, the Cape Gown. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The water, yeah, the water is yeah, for everyone and yeah. to share it equally yeah. and in fairness. We'll all have a no one should put a price on the water. Yeah, we'll all have a, have a thing in family then, all the families was managing and everyone will be all paying apart. And the spiritual side will be very, very happy and things will change.